To say that we're excited is definitely an understatement. We just drove in to Lac Sewell's Wilderness Resort, and again, the excitement level is extremely high on this trip because we haven't been here for so long. Exactly, so this is a really awesome fishery. If anybody's ever experienced Lac Sewell, they know it's probably one of the most famous walleye fisheries in all of Ontario. So we're gonna chat on this trip a little about some of the best walleye fishing opportunities in the world, and they're in Ontario. This is gonna be a great trip, man. Can't wait to meet you. Sweet. The Ontario experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself. And who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. It's tough to see, I mean, bigger than I, I've been catching, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, a little better. I tell you what. What? Dying to come <laughs> back up here, right? Oh, man. Ontario does have some of the most fabulous walleye fishing in the entire planet. There's no question about it. You know, we're on Lac Sewell, which is world famous for walleye fishing. What a way to start off the season in Ontario than go to Lac Sewell, which is just an amazing fishery. The lake is just, it's, it's filled with islands, these big open mass bays and channels. There's just so many, so much structure to fish. There's just walleyes everywhere. That is the reason why you're gonna catch probably a couple hundred walleyes on a trip Ooh, up Ooh, that's here. a gooder, that's a gooder. That is a little bit better anyway. Gooder one? I don't think it's a giganto, but it's nice. Nice, nice, nice. You know, I've spent a ton of time in my life fishing up here just because, oh, let's see if I can get him in here. <laughs> because, oh, <laughs> it's my favorite place in the world. I mean, it's, it's I'm not joking oh. when I say that Northwest Ontario is sunset country and just <laughs> Ontario in general, it, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, you know, the, when you get into fishing, obviously it's great to catch fish, to start things off, but it becomes more than that. It's the scenery, it's the experience, it's the friends that you get to spend time with. And I love to explore and so does Ty. And so, so many of these big walleye fisheries in Ontario, it's like, there could, that could be a great spot, that could be a great spot. There's so many spots and you never have to compete with people. And there's basically every spot that we fish has had fish. It's just that some are better than others. It really is truly a fisherman's paradise. If you end up catching lots of fish and big fish, I'd say Ontario is a place you want to check out. There are so many different places on this lake that to find walleyes, but a lot of the spots are holding maybe you know a handful of them. Jared and I are actually going from place to place, and we won't stop until we find like a lot of walleyes, just a ton of arcs. Then we can sit there, you can sit there for an hour sometimes and catch walleye after walleye. We don't really deal with those spots. They're just holding just a few walleyes. It, you know, basically it's a waste of time. So take the time, use your electronics, and find spots that are holding masses of walleyes and, and with a lot of bait fish too. So there's a reason why those fish are, are holding these spots. They're actually, they're obviously feeding on bait fish. To, so find those spots, anchor up, or if you got your own boat, use a spot lock and you can just sit there and whale on them for, for hours. And then when you, when you go through those fish, you move along to the next spot. Oh, there we go. <laughs> a little better size. You know, a lot of people come up here 
The lax tool, again, is, is well known for the jig bite, right? A lot of people are using jig in the middle, and, which is fine. It's a great way to find fish, but when you find them, this is just as effective. I mean, a, 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 a soft plastic can be just as effective as live bait. There's no question about it. Find them with, with live bait, that's fine. But once you get on them, it's so much easier to catch more fish with a uh, jig and a uh, piece of soft plastic. Nice bite. Come on, Mr. Walleye. Better fish, though. Yeah, nice quality ones. So like Ty was saying, there's a lot of ways to catch them. I mean, we putzed around trolling when we got here. But jig fishing, you know, is to me one of the the best ways to catch fish, just because you're in such close contact with with the fish. You get to feel everything, it just makes it so fun. So it's pretty simple for us, you know, if you're coming up here, eighth, quarter, three eighths ounce jigs. Bring a lot of them, there's a lot of pike, there's a lot of rocks, and then all you need is just, of course, have minnows, but just get yourself some of these soft plastic minnow profiles like this. Of course, grubs work, paddle tails work, but this is day in, day out. This profile here, just a small minnow profile that's three and a half, four inches long is just absolutely dynamite. And a little tip I'll give you with these things is I always super glue these plastics on. If I did not have this super glued, I've gone through about a half a dozen plastics already, but that little bit of super glue, you can see there's hardly anything holding on under the shank. I don't know, I've got a dozen or more fish on this, it makes it uh, a lot more efficient. There we go. Yeah. That's a big fish. Yep, that was a big mark. Big walleye, big. Pike, what do you think you got? I don't know, man. It's hit it hard. It was a huge mark <laughs> on the depth finder. Yeah. Big jack. I knew it was something big. <laughs> That's the thing about being up here. You don't know what you're going to run into. I mean, there's big walleyes, there's big northerns, there's big muskies. And they're all fun to catch. Ooh. He's a fatty, eating Cisco's. Not a giant, but you know what? If you're gonna eat a, a pike, that'd be a perfect one to eat. They are delicious. Pretty fun to catch too. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Here we are, blowing up against the rocks, catching pike, trying for a big Ooh, walleye. Nice walleye, nice and Of walleye. course, I think I've got a little pike on. Oh, Whoa, and that was a perfect <laughs> net job. Do you see this guy? How good he is at netting? <laughs> Ty, this has been fantastic. I mean, we've got um, unbelievable bite going. When it, we've caught him casting shallow, we've got him jigging deep, we've caught him trolling any way you can imagine. It's just a walleye factory. It's just been a great trip. I mean, like you say, you can catch them any which way you want to. A lot of people only bring jigs, which is, that's where they make a mistake, right? Because oh, yeah. you can catch them in a lot of different situations, a lot of different baits. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful great, fish. Great trip. Awesome, awesome. Well, let's catch a couple more. Nice fish? I don't know. Hard to say. <laughs> After what we've been doing, I mean, yeah, I know that's a that's a northern. No, it's a walleye. No, it's no, a bass. It's a bass. Yeah. Another walleye. It's a walleye. You drive around him and you just learn a pile about how they're out. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's 
an amazing way to catch fish. Like you said, you can cover a ton of water doing it. Look how fat those things. You think they're eating well in this lake? It's got such a healthy forage base. These are so fun to catch. I mean, if you're gonna eat a walleye right there, perfect size, man. He's gonna, he's gonna get a break today. Got him. Got him? Got him, but I gotta be careful because there's rocks right here. It's just a little pike. Oh, it's a great big smallmouth. Huh? It's a great big smallmouth. Is it really? Yep. Look at this. Huh. <laughs> I mean, no. Here, you gotta do it. If you wouldn't mind doing that, then I can get the motor going. Sweet. Sweet. Fatty. Put that there, huh? Another great bonus to Black Sewell. Look at how fat these are. That's not a long fish, but man, oh man, we've run into them here and they're just huge. This lake has exploded with smallmouth. It is truly one of Ontario's greatest multi-species fisheries. Big brown bass, big northern pike, and of course, tons of walleyes and big ones. I think walleye. Well, we were just talking, maybe we should jig this. We've got, it's kind of the thing about trolling. That this spot is big. It's maybe three or four football fields long. And we're kind of figuring out the sweet spot is we caught a few on this side, but it's so big, the trolling it, you kind of learn where the really good stuff is. And on this spot, the really good stuff is right back there. Three Stand passes. down, man, that might be a big fish. Three walleye, big pike, smallmouth. Nice walleye, nice real nice walleye. walleye. There we go. I think it'd be more fun to catch him jigging. What do you say we do a little jigging on this spot, dude? A good thing I net him for him because every time his rapala pops out, <laughs> pops out of the mouth. You're talking about go-to baits to have that tail dancer. It's definitely one of them. You know that it's got such a steep dive curve. You can fish. You can fish it in 30 feet, you can fish it in 8 feet because it's so deep, you can 8 feet, you can just troll right over the tops of those rocks, not get snagged, but then get down 20, 30 feet. It's amazing. It's been interesting too. I mean, you, you can see what we're catching on jigs compared to what we're catching on these on these crankbaits. Average. The fish, fish are actually bigger, have been oh, bigger yeah. coming on these crankbaits. Yep. So, you know, but, there's a lot of ways to catch fish. You know, and we have the luxury of, of bringing our own boat. We can throw all of our tackle and everything but the kitchen sink, but there are places where your fly-ins or drive-tos that you're using the camp boat, let me give you our top five baits when we come to Canada to catch walleyes. Love it. You know, when you're talking about coming up to Ontario, I typically like to bring my whole tackle box, everything but the kitchen sink, but if you were to tell me I could only bring five different types of baits, I would have to say number one, and it's not even close, is the jig. It's the most versatile piece of tackle that you can use for, for catching walleyes. You can put a, obviously put a minnow on it. You can put soft plastics, like a paddle tail, or a minnow profile type of bait, or a grub. The second would be, and it's very similar, but I think they're different, would be a hair jig. They come in different shapes and sizes as well, and different weights, colors, and so forth. And again, they're a versatile type bait. You can use them plain. You don't need anything on these. Just rip them, you can jig them normal, you can put minnows on them, you can put soft plastics, it doesn't matter, they flat out catch walleyes. Number three, and I, this is one of my all time favorite baits when it comes to walleyes in Ontario, and, and I think jigging wraps and walleyes go hand in hand. It's a rip it, it's a reactionary bait, and they're very, they are very effective. Fourth, it's pretty obvious, you can't go to Ontario without crankbaits, shallow running crankbaits, deep running crankbaits, because you don't know whether the fish are gonna be from, from May till October, fish, swim in all different depths all season long. There's no question about that. Shallow running cranks and deep running cranks are a must when you come to Ontario. Fifth, but not least, bottom bouncers. Again, I'm talking about versatile baits, but you can do a lot of different things with them. I love using uh, bottom bouncers in that mid-summer range where those walleyes are going deep in their summer patterns, the bug hatch is happening. I pull a lot of crawler harnesses. So don't forget to bring bottom bouncers. So those are my top five baits when you come to Ontario. There we go.
go. Let's that's a little double. bit better. That's a little bit better, Ty. That's oh, kind of what yeah. we're looking for. Well, never mind. It's nice. They just fight so hard. They just hard. fight so hard. They're so darn tough. That's a great fish, though, anywhere you go. And you know, if you're looking at the rod and reel that you want to jig fish with, but make the most out of, here's a recommendation that I would have for a rod and reel setup for going to Canada on a walleye trip. So for me, it's a seven foot medium power fast action. That rod can do, you can do trolling, you can do casting. It's a great jig fishing rod. You can just do a ton of different stuff with it. So the versatility for me is a big deal. I see a lot of people that come up here with a six foot, six and a half foot, you know, medium light rod. And that just doesn't seem to do the job for doing as much vers versatile fishing as like what we've done, trolling. And then putting a size 2,500 reel on there, spooling it up with 10 pound braid, and you're in the money. And I think, Ty, you can attest that that's a pretty <laughs> well, good Well, I mean, setup. you just look at this rod right here. Look at the bend. It's got the perfect power and perfect action for, for what we're doing. This is a decent walleye. Yeah, these are, this is, these are a nicer batch here we got. Look at that guy, huh? Beautiful fish, they're just healthy. Eating very well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> fish, 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 fish. You get, definitely are catching numbers when you're talking about jig fishing. But you just have your line in the water more, which is a big deal. But, and there's nothing wrong with those. We're just at a spot where there's some higher quality fish. There's no doubt about it. Look at that. I mean, wouldn't you want to come to Ontario and catch just a ton of walleyes like that? I know I like coming up here to do it. Here too. <laughs> you got one Ready? out too? I yeah. got one out. I'm going to try to help Jared get this big one. Oh. Nice. There's another nice one. <laughs> just double. I mean, this is insane. <laughs> this is the most insane thing ever. I mean, look at the size of these fish. Oh. Those are awesome. He's got another one. <laughs> just. I mean, think about what your walleye fishing might be like. You might live in the Midwest like we do, Minnesota, Wisconsin. You go out and get a half a dozen walleyes in the evening and you're a hero. If you don't get a half a dozen walleyes in 10 casts, you're like, what is going on? We gotta change spots. We got it's it's that spot. good up here, it really is. And Lac Sewell is one of the big fisheries, but there are so many, whether it's Lac Sewell. We've caught huge ones on Nipigon in Superior Country. Of course, Nipissing, Simcoe produces big ones. You've got, of course, the Bay of Quinte out east. I mean, it's just, and how many fly in? There's more water, more lakes and people in most of this country. It's just amazing. I think it's safe to say, Jerry, that there's probably more walleyes in Sunset Country than anywhere else. Oh my gosh. Well, in Ontario in general, it's amazing. Here we go, get them back. Oh, I got one going here. Ooh, uh, that's a good one. Oh, yep. <laughs> I think we'll need a net for this one. Netter. Oh yeah, she's a she's a oh, she's boy, a that's good a really one. Nice one. That's a really that might nice be the one. biggest one of the oh, week. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> that's awesome, man. That, that is an awesome fish. Holy cow! Here you go. Here's your fish. I mean, what's nice, right, is that fish are so easy to find this time of year. A lot of people come in May and June, but yeah, it's definitely a great time. They definitely, you know, obviously it has something to do with getting out of school. The kids are getting out of school, whatever. You got that vacation, it's usually pretty nice out, but they forget about August, which is what we're here right now is in August. And it could be the, the best time to catch not only a lot of walleyes, but, but real big ones like this one. You know, and they're out in deeper water and you could actually use your electronics to find these fish. They're all schooled up on the on oh. their normal summer spots. It's as easy as it gets to find walleye. Drive around main lake humps or points and your sonar lights up and you catch them. It's simple. I think that, uh, some people out there should change their uh, their schedules to <laughs> August instead of May and June because yeah. uh, we've That's proven awesome. proven that point uh, this this last couple of days. So it's a great fish for you to get it back and yep, let's do it. Keep fishing. This is what we've been waiting for, I think, Jer. Sweet, big fish, big fish, big fish. That's walleye ish. Big fish. There it is. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Nice walleye. Yeah. What you can expect. Beauty, beauty. What you beauty. can expect from Laxul. Lots of these, man. Nice, huh? That's a great fish, Ty. Oh, great fish. Beautiful, nice. beautiful, beautiful, buddy. This has been. Look at that. Look at that. This has been, buddy, one of the oh, best trips I've been on in quite a while. 
you know, come up here, bring a friend, bring your family, and just catch just an awful lot of walleyes and some really nice ones like this too. I mean, it's just a blast. It's an absolute it blast. Is. And I've got one on too. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I mean, you want action, you want great stuff. Ontario is certainly the, the it's just the crown jewel of walleye fishing. Beautiful scenery, great fishing, everything about it is awesome. Just a great experience. And you know what? I'm going to say a special thanks to Scott and Heidi too. Oh gosh, they did a great job. I mean, awesome people, awesome. Black Sewell Wilderness Resort. Thanks a lot, Scott and Heidi. We had a blast. It's been a great trip. Can't wait to do it again. Someone else to catch.